Hello all. In this video, I will show you how to install MobSF on Windows. Before installing MobSF, we need a prerequisite software. For example, Git, Python, JDK 8 Plus, Microsoft Visual C++ Build Tools, OpenSSL and WKHTML to PDF. So first of all, we will install all this software and then we will install the MobSF. So let me start with the first software that is Git. So you can just copy this particular URL and you can paste into browser. And here you can just click on click here to download. So it will be downloaded and you can check over here. It is being downloaded. You can move to that particular folder and right click run as administrator you can just click on install anyway here you can click on next next yes next 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 and install now you can click on finish. You can close this. Now you can move to second software. Second software install Python 3.10 plus. So you can copy this particular URL and you can paste over here. So now Python 3.10 will be downloaded. You can move to the folder. You can just right click and run as administrator. Install anyway. You can just click over here add python.exe to path and click on install now. Now once it is done you can click on close. Now we need to download the JDK. This is the third step install JDK 8 plus. So we will install JDK latest version. So you can just copy this particular URL and you can paste over here. Now you can just scroll down here. You can click on Windows and here in Windows we need x64 installer so you can just download this exe this is the JDK 23 JDK 23 will be downloaded you can just go to download option here JDK 23 is being downloaded 205 MB you can move to that particular folder and you can just right click run as administrator and you can click on install anyway now you can click on next next now once this java version is successfully installed you can click on close now we need to install the fourth software that is visual c++ build tools so you can copy this particular url and you can paste over here now you can just click on download build tools so build tools will be downloaded here build tools is downloaded you can just right click run as administrator now you can click on continue so required files will be downloaded over here and then it will be installed it's about 31.24 MB now you can see that Visual Studio installer is ready now you can just click over here install so you can see here visual studio build tools 2022 it will be starting for the installation there are 39 mb and it is installed successful now you can close this now fifth tool that is install open ssl so we just need to download open ssl non light version you can copy this path and paste over here in a browser. You can just scroll it down and you can download Windows 64 Open SSL EXE. You can just go to download folder and here Windows 64 Open SSL file is downloaded. You can just right click and run as administrator. You can just 
click on more info and run anyway you can select here i accept the agreement next 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 and install now all the files are downloaded successfully now we need to download wk html to pdf so you can go to sixth option that is download and install wk html to pdf so that you can download from this path you can just copy this path and paste over here in a browser and you can just download the windows installer vista or later 64 bit and you can just go to download folder here 26.7 mb file will be downloaded you can go to show in folder here you can just right click on the file and you can click on run as administrator you can just click on install anyway you can click on i agree install once it is completed now we need to set the path of wk html binary file to our path variable so next step is add the folder that contains the wk html to pdf binary to the environment variable path so just go to windows explorer c drive program files wk html to pdf bin and here just copy this particular path and set this path to environment variable so just right click on this pc properties advanced system setting environment variable and path is available here you can just scroll it down path edit new and paste here this path of wk html to pdf okay 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 and close you can close this also so there are six step over it means requirement before installing mobsf is completed now we can proceed towards installation of mobsf so you can open your command prompt and run git clone this command so you can just copy this command open command prompt you can just pass here git clone https github.com dot git file you can see here all the files is being downloaded over here currently 3000 plus file is being downloaded you can see here 10000 plus files is being downloaded out of 21746 objects first step is over for the installation of mobsf now next step is change the directory to mobile security framework mobsf and run the setup.bat file so guys this file is downloaded in this folder that is c drive users para you can cross verify that in C drive, users parag mobile security framework mobsf folder is available over here. Inside this folder, there are two files. One is run.bat, another is setup.bat. So we need to set up the mobile security framework first. So our next step is to change the directory to mobile security framework mobsf and run the setup.bat file. So we just need to write here cd. You can just write MOB and press tab. Mobile security framework mobsf folder will be available. You can just press enter. Now you can write SET and just press tab. Setup.bat. And you can press enter. What happens? See, it will check for the Python version 3.10. Yes, it is available. It will check for PEEP version. It will get all the library that is required to run the mobile security framework. It will resolve the dependencies. Now you can see that here it is downloading and installing the bin scheme. JEDEX is installed successfully. It is also installing the bin scope. Now you can see here the mob SF version 4.3 is launched over here. 
dynamic analysis related functions will not work because android studio or genie motion is not currently launched otherwise it will also work you can see here super user is created successfully and mobile security framework is installed successfully over here now once the mobile security framework version 4.3 is installed successfully now the next is how to run my mobile security framework locally so to run mobile security framework you just need to open the command prompt and type run dot bat and pass local ip address colon 8000 port number so you can just write over here run dot bat 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 and you can press enter over here now at the same time you need to open the browser you can go to browser and here you can write 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 and press enter provide mob sf username and mob sf password and click on sign in now you can upload and analyze any apk over here you can pass any application file over here and you will get the report so this is the way you can install the mobile security framework locally in the windows so that's it from my side thank you very much have a nice day